let's learn how to use a flex sensor the flex sensor you can bend it easily and as this bends the resistance changes so when the flex sensor is absolutely straight it's 0 degrees it has least resistance and as you bend it so the degrees are increasing so as you bend it the resistance increases and this change in resistance is what we use as a sensor how you bend the sensor will trigger some other action so to use a flex sensor because it's a an analog device it generates a constant change in the signal that it generates unlike a digital device which is uh, you know which only has two states zero or one on or off high or low this is a an analog device so it it generates an analog signal hence to use a flex sensor with arduino we need to create a voltage divider and if you don't understand a voltage divider then you should watch the other video on which explains what a voltage divider is so to create a voltage divider i've taken a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the way i have created this circuit is from the arduino pin i have taken a 5 volt out and given it to one of the pins of the uh, flex sensor and you can put it on either pins because there is no polarity here and then i have taken another wire from the ground pin i have attached it to a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then attached it further to the flex sensor and what we want to do is we want to measure the change in voltage that is created because of this voltage divider so i'm taking a wire out from a5 the five analog uh, pins that we have on the arduino and i am attaching it to the middle of this voltage divider because we want the voltage out from here and that is the change in voltage that we will read and then based on that we will trigger some action so first let's just learn how to read this change in value in voltage because of this voltage divider so to read the value that this resistor is generating on the analog pin i have taken this uh, command print to serial monitor which is in the output blocks uh, print to serial monitor and i am simply saying read the analog pin a5 when we start the simulation and the sensor is at 0 degrees the value that the adc the analog to digital converter embedded in the arduino is giving us a output of 256 and when i as i bend the sensor the value changes so now we have a value of 168 when the sensor is bent to 56 degrees and if i bend it more so when it is at 83 degree now i have a value of 136 and if i bend it all the way to 180 degrees i get a value of 59 so it is this change in resistance along with this voltage divider that is giving us these values so let's make a note of these values at 0 degrees the value i'm getting is 256 and if i bend it to let's say around uh, you know more than uh, 65 degrees then the value we are getting is 155 so let's remember this value that when our sensor is bent at a degree more than 65 we get a value of 155 so now let's get a servo motor and let's attach this servo motor to uh, our arduino so i'm going to take the signal pin and i'm going to put the signal pin at pin number 7 and i'm going to attach uh, the power ground and the power to the micro bit now let's go back to the code and in the code what we are saying here is if the value on the analog pin which is connected to a5 if it is less than 155 which is the value we were getting when the flex sensor was bent more than 65 degrees so when the value is less than 155 which means that the sensor is bent more than 65 degrees then what we want is that the servo that we have attached to pin number 7 should move to 180 degrees with a delay of 2 seconds and then the servo should move back to 0 degrees and if the 
uh, sensor is bent less than 65 degrees which means it's pretty much straight then we are saying that uh, the servo should be at 0 degrees so as we bend the flex sensor we can control the servo motor so let's run this simulation so i'm going to start bending the flex sensor and till around nothing is happening to the servo till i bend it more than 60 65 degrees and the moment i am bending it more than 65 degrees i am able to control the servo as per my program flex sensors are very interesting sensors and they have a wide range of applications uh, you can use the flex sensor to create robotic arms to create animatronics and many other interesting projects i hope you will try out a few